hello hackers and welcome back again to another video so in this video today we are going to learn how we can embed a malicious payload inside an innocent looking image now before we proceed with this tutorial today just a precaution or uh, a disclaimer this video is strictly for educational purposes only this is not to condone we don't condone any misuse of our videos so make sure to do this in your own environment using your own machines so take take caution hacking is illegal now with that let's continue so before we proceed we are going to use uh, this nice tool called exit tool make sure you already have it installed if you are using Kali Linux, Parrot Linux, like me here, Exif tool is already installed. If you do man Exif tool, you can see that we can use uh, the Exif tool to read and write meta information in files, like image files. So read means that we can extract uh, metadata from a file, an image, or we can do the opposite, which is write metadata to that image now make if you don't have it installed if you're using maybe ubuntu linux you can do sudo apt install exif tool and this will go ahead and install exif tool on your system if you are using uh if you're using uh Arc linux you can do sudo pacman dash s to install it now now that we have it installed let's go ahead and do this a uh, tutorial now if I do ls on my current directory you can see that I already have a file and this uh, we have this picture a, a nice picture of a lion so what we are going to do is I have this script here we are going to embed this payload inside this image so if you if you send this to a target and they click on that link hopefully you might get a session or a backdoor back to your machine now let's go ahead if i do exif tool the name of the file the image sorry it's uh, 1850 animal you can see that we already have metadata for that image now this is why you are always told to be very careful when uploading images to the internet you might just send an innocent looking image but inside that image it contains a lot of metadata information like the file size the file name file type we have the resolution if this was uh, you might have information like the camera model the camera make a megapixel image size all this kind of information some of this information can even reveal more details about the person who uploaded that image so take caution now you can see that we already extracted metadata from that image now we are going to do the opposite which is write metadata to that image and let's copy this let's copy this one so we're going to copy that payload and we are going to do sudo exif tool and then paste that payload and we're going to paste this payload inside the image file the 1860 line animals blah 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 and then enter and just like that you'll see that one image file has been updated you can see in the comment section the previous when when we did the extraction you can see in the comment section it's creators some information but if we do now exit tool the same same image you'll see that now in the comment section we have the payload instead and if we do ls you can see that we have two files this is the original one in purple and this is the updated one the one that but both of them have the payload embedded okay now if you send this to a victim and they click on that make that uh, uh, the idea is to hopefully run that payload and get a, a session back so this is how a malicious actor will embed a payload inside an innocent looking image file so be very careful out there when you, also when you click on images make sure you click don't even click on uh, things that you are not uh, you are not even sure of maybe you are not you, you don't know the sender 
make sure you also have a strong and a, a reputable antivirus installed on your machine just to be safe so thank you for watching this video and please like share and most of all subscribe to g security it will mean a lot we are going to target 2000 subscribers before the end of the month hopefully thank you and i will see you in the next video